right, friends, let's write a song. Is this crooked? Maybe. Hello guys, what's up? It's Nina. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm happy that you're here. Today, it is so gloomy outside and so rainy and cloudy and it's just like a weird vibe. And so I decided, why don't we just do a little like write a song with me video. If you've seen my other songwriting videos, usually it's just me reacting to my old songs that I wrote and trying to play them again and remember how they go and tell you guys how I wrote them and everything but I figured let's just get into the process I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of how I write songs so I have a hot chai latte you know my windows are open and I got my lights on and it's just it's just a vibe if you guys want to check out some of my other songwriting content I'll link the playlist up here and down below I have a video that's all about songwriting tips for beginner guitar players and that has a lot of information in it more than this video is gonna have so if you want to go check that one now go do that um, but today we're just gonna try to write a song I think I'm gonna try to write a first verse and a chorus in 30 minutes and see how far we get here because you know it's different every single time sometimes I can write like a whole long thing in like 10 minutes sometimes it takes me like three hours to figure out what I'm trying to say we'll see how today goes I haven't done this type of video yet because usually my inspiration is like in the middle of the night and I don't feel like pulling out a camera because when I'm like in my pajamas but this morning I thought let's just have a little songwriting session so go grab some tea some coffee guitar and also I have another thing you guys can get if you didn't know I have an Etsy shop where I post digital products that you can purchase and so I have just posted a new one and this would be my songwriting guide my little like three page um, worksheet set for songwriting I have a brainstorming page which is ideas and concepts words that you really want to use use, sensory details that you want to include, and also which chord progressions you think you might want to use. And then the second part of this is super fun because it just, if you're really new to songwriting, it helps you have a structure, like a jumping off point, where do I begin? I got these two pages, and the first page has song title, you put your name, chords, capo, the mood of your song, and then I like this because in the corner you can put the date you wrote the song and the time, which I just love, like no Knowing, oh yeah I wrote that on this day at 1 42 p.m. or 2 a.m. whatever it's kind of fun and then I have a box for verse 1 pre-chorus chorus and then on my second page we have verse 2 bridge and then you have extra space on the bottom now of course not every song is gonna have all of those elements in it but it is helpful to you know once you're just starting to know like oh the song has a intro and a bridge and whatever anyways Let's get started, shall we? Now, before I start my timer, I'm gonna go into my notes. This is, okay, this is kind of cheating, but not really cheating. I'm just gonna try to find one line of inspiration I had and then try to write a song based on that. So I think I know what we're gonna use. I had this line, just one line that says, you're out of sight, but you're still in my mind. So that's just kind of like a play on words when people say like, oh, out of sight, out of mind, but it's like out of sight, but you're still in my mind. Like, thought that was pretty clever. So we're just gonna kind of write a song around this concept. I'm putting 30 minutes on the clock. We'll see if I stick to it, but we're just gonna see how this is gonna go. We're gonna do a little quick, a uh, couple minute brainstorming session right now. Out of of sight out of sight but you're still in my mind let's well, think of words so we're like kind of like thinking backwards looking back on something reflecting retrospect that's a good word like hindsight like you know in hindsight sensory details okay so this is like my favorite thing to do because it really gives I don't know like either like the color of someone's eyes a specific time moment it was a cold morning you know just descriptive details that really set the scene for the song I always love a good song that talks about like driving I don't know maybe like you don't take a certain street anymore to avoid passing something that gives you like bad nostalgia ooh bad nostalgia Nostalgia. Okay. <laughs> Like not the good kind of nostalgia. Like, ooh, the kind, like nostalgia could mean like a happy memory, but it could also mean like bad vibes. Anyways, okay. I don't take that street 
more. Something like that's how I feel, feel like this song is gonna start. Like, I don't take that street anymore. What's like a good name of a street? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like a real street. Like you take the long way around. See, this is the, my like, like brainstorming process. It's like, I'll go take like three extra minutes on my route. So just so I don't have to go past that street. My drive is, my drive is like, uh, 15 instead of 10 minutes. I don't know. Or like, these days, mom, these days when I drown, like I'm going to the grocery store. Like you're just made, doing like a normal errand. It's eight miles instead of seven. Like, you know, like eight miles. I kind of want to write a song around the vibe of the day. So maybe like, just like a really gloomy day. Gray, dark gray. I like that. Dark gray. Okay, I'm gonna start playing guitar. We'll see what happens. We're gonna just keep going. We're five minutes in here. You know, when I choose a chord progression, there really isn't a rhyme or a reason. I haven't written a melody yet, which means I'm probably gonna come up with the chords first. But usually when I have a melody, it already like has a chord progression. I just have to like find it with the notes. I, I know nothing about music theory, really. I just know like the tips and tricks for like transposing my capo up and down my guitar to fit what I want it, the, you know, the key that I want it to be in. My go-to is capo five because I have like a naturally higher voice and I don't do well with low notes. Like I'm trying to feel like, kind of want to start on like a minor chord that just like sets the scene, I don't know. And sometimes when I'm writing songs, I don't worry about the strumming yet, I just wanna get the chords right and the melody right. So usually I will just like single pluck and sing. So like, let's see, I've got a lot of different things going on here. Woke up in a dark gray morning. Oh, like you slept in because the sun didn't like shine through your window. Like I feel like that's a vibe right now because it's been so dark in the morning. Slept in cause the sun didn't wake me up today Yeah, yes I came through my window Like it does every other day Like the light didn't come through the window And then so we got today Dark gray I slept in cause the sun didn't wake me up today no light came through my window I'm just a student. I'm sitting here and I'm sitting in the dark gray Yeah, yeah, maybe I should change the time Got 20 minutes left! Ah! Okay, so I got cable on the 5th fret And sorry, I didn't explain this, but the chords I'm using, the chord progression is E minor 7, C at 9, G and D um, Which is one of my go-tos And I might change it up if there, if I decide to do a pre-chorus And I might change it up in the chorus I always like to go to a major chord to start a chorus because it's very like catchy Anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we get there Here's another thing, I'm not doing it right now But usually I would be voice recording this on my phone in my voice memos app. Actually, I probably should do that actually because I I'm so bad at remembering melodies that I have just sung like five seconds before. I'd be like, wait, wait, how did I say that? It's such a problem because then I get so frustrated. But let me just record that little bit right there. So it goes. Slept in because the sun didn't wake me up today. The light didn't shine through my window. It left me sitting in the dark gray of Okay, you see how that just like flowed so much better? So I changed the timing. So instead of doing giving each chord a full measure, I'm splitting the measures. But wow, a lot of the time I just press play and see what comes out of my mouth. When I have like an idea, I just like kind of keep going, keep recording, and then I'm like, oh, that was good. Like right then I was able to finish that line just by singing it. So that was good. So we got, um. Slept in cause the sun didn't wake me up today. The light didn't shine through my window It left me sitting in the dark gray of my room And then, okay, now we go into the next part We're gonna set up this, you know, we set the current scene Now we gotta think about what's going on up here You know, the feeling It rained the whole way to the grocery store In my room Just like that day we want to like, maybe it's like this feeling she's waking up to is like just like that feeling when whoever left her or something. 
I don't know. I don't know if this guy like broke up with her. Maybe she just like misses somebody. I don't know. Oh no, what's my timer at? Ah, I got 15 more minutes. Oh wait, no. Yeah, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're halfway through almost. And what do I have? One line. <laughs> Speed it up a little bit. We can do it. We can do it. It rained the whole way to the store. Kinda like the day that you are right out the door. Yeah. Oh, that you slammed the door? Got out and slammed the door. So now it takes me 10 minutes instead of five to get around the street where you drive. Na -na -na, what da -da -na. Now, see, that doesn't make sense, but I, I get the vibe. That was kind of good. Wait, what did I say? It rained the whole way on. What did I say? <gasps> it rained the whole way. Today it rained the whole way to the whole drive. To the store. Maybe. I'm gonna do a recording so I don't forget again. Today it rained the whole drive to the store. Kinda like it did that day you walked right out my door. And now my drive takes eight miles instead of six. Da -da -da. And now my drive takes ten minutes instead of nine. You know, like, uh, I'm almost there. And now my drive takes me now instead of, instead of five. Maybe not that many miles. Maybe just one more mile. Drive ten miles instead of nine. Which is now not, not a simpler time. I kind of like the, the, the title of the song being like Bad Nostalgia. That also kind of sounds like a cool band name. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, let me just keep it going. Today... <laughs> It rained the whole drive to the store Like it did the day that you walked right out my door And now my drive's ten miles instead of nine It's like now I'm not standing up all night I don't mind but I don't mind I don't know, no, no Yeah, that'll be the chorus there. You see how I just kind of like keep it going because I feel the melody blowing through me. Okay, wait. As I put you still in my mind, no, 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 no matter how I try, I try. And I, I don't in retrospect, cause you never gave me any respect. The, yeah, something, okay. Keep it going, keep it going. We're, we're, we're doing some, we're getting somewhere now. That was like, I don't even know, it could have been a pre-chorus, like right there where it's like, um, my, now my drive is 10 miles instead of nine. It, like, it's like you do things differently to avoid someone. I need to drink more chai. Oh. Now I'm just gonna listen to my recording and it's always horrible. I literally hate hearing my voice on recording, but anyways, kind of dumb for someone that has a, a YouTube channel. Just 10 miles instead of nine. Like a street sign. Your stop sign. Your street sign. Can't bear to see that stop sign. I can't bear to see the street sign. That road sign where I said goodbye. Ah, uh, maybe. See your street sign. Like your street sign's like the street that you live on. Yeah, yeah, your street sign. Oh wait, or maybe, maybe she can say, I haven't seen your street sign since we said goodbye. That might work better. Let's see. My drive's 10 miles instead of nine. I haven't seen your street sign since the day we said goodbye. Leading into the chorus. Yes. Guys, we're, we literally are almost doing this. Like we're, I'm so close. Chorus time, baby. Okay, wait, what did I even say? Out of sight, but you're still, out of sight, but you're still in. Out of sight, but you're still in my mind. Yes, this makes sense now. Cause like, you know, she's purposely going out of her way to make sure he's out of her sight, not going to his street, you know, but obviously she's still thinking about him. Obviously this song is like not written from my perspective because I mean, there's no inspiration in my life right now. I've been single for like a year and a half and also I live at home with my parents and have no friends, so. <laughs> 
And by no friends, I mean no friends that live around me. I have friends, they just don't live here. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking for this chorus, okay, you know, we got all, I was like kind of doing it earlier, but out of sight, but just still in my mind, something, something like, like no matter how hard I try. And then I had that whole thing, it's like, something something retrospect. I really like that word and I wanna use it for this. But I think the hook of the song should be the last line and it should say, I can't take the bad nostalgia anymore or like your bad nostalgia leads me here. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, oh, my foot's asleep. Ow. No matter how far I run, how hard I try. Yeah, yes, yes. No matter how, no matter how far I run or how hard I try. Yes, yes. Out of sight, but you're still in my mind No matter how far, no matter Wait, whoa, whoa No matter how far I run or how How hard I try, I try, I try Yeah, like she's trying oh. I'm stuck here in retrospect Yes, yes Something like expect I don't know what I expected When I Oh, I have to rhyme with try. Oh my god, I'm so close. Wait, how much time do I have? Oh my god, I have five minutes. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And I saw but you still in my mind. Let's just sing this. Let's just sing it and see what happens. Oh, and then I'm switching chord progressions for the chorus. I'm gonna do G, D, E minor, C for this part just because I like a major chorus. Okay. And I saw but you still in my mind. No matter how far I run, how hard I try, I try, I try. Okay, there's a little bit too many syllables there. That's always my issue. Um, too many syllables, so we gotta gotta take out some words or sing it a different with different inflection. Inflection is like you know what syllables you stress. So we go out of sight, but you're still in my mind. Out of sight, but you're still in my mind. Like those are two different ways of saying singing it. One just sounds like I don't know. Anyways, you just have to find the right inflection for your um, for your line if the syllables aren't working. No matter how far I run, how hard, how hard I try. Yeah, okay. Nah. Out of sight, but you're still in my mind. No matter how far I run, how hard I try, I try, I try. Yeah. I'm stuck here in retrospect. I didn't know what I expected. Not tonight. I'm trying to find the right rhyme here, guys. Oh, oh God, oh no, two minutes. We might have to go over a little bit because I think this song is worth finishing right here, this chorus. Uh, let's just see what I can come up with. Out of sight, but you're still in my mind. No matter how far I run, how hard I try, I try, I try. I'm stuck here in retrospect. I didn't know what I expected from you and a guy. From a guy? That kind of sounds lame though. Try. Lie. Yeah, lie. Okay, that's a good one. I'm stuck here in retrospect. I didn't know what I expected from a lie. A lie. Yeah, from a lie. I don't know what I expected from a lie. Maybe like the whole thing was a lie. But we can get into that in verse two. Let me know if you guys want a part two and we can finish this song because that would be kind of fun to do a little part two. Didn't know what I expected from a lie or your lie. Didn't know what you, I expected from a lie. I kind of like a lie because I don't know, maybe, okay. Stuck here in retrospect. Didn't know what I expected from a lie. And then we go to the E minor and we do this last line. Like maybe like, I thought you'd bring me, I thought you'd bring me in. Oh, 20 seconds. I thought you'd give me everything. Those memories. Uh, uh, and he said, it ends with an uh. Thought you'd give me everything. You said you'd give me everything. Oh my god, that's so loud. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish this last line here, guys. It told me you would give me everything And I believed ya Oh, yes, yes. But none of them sitting here but Every time I think of you, I just get bad nostalgia Oh! 
That's it. That's the one, guys. Okay, 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 okay. See, when you finally, like, get through that, like, oh, oh, frustrating part, and you finally are able to put into words, like, what you want it to say, it's like, yes. Um, I'm gonna go through this, and then we are going to sing the whole thing that we wrote today. I say we. You wrote this with me, because you just, we did it. You were here, you gave me moral support, and we finished the song in, like, 30 minutes, which is cool. I shouldn't say finish the whole song because we like only wrote like the first half of a song, but still impressive. All right, moment of truth. Let's sing this whole thing and see if I can remember <laughs> the melody and everything. Okay, my first attempt at writing a song in 30 minutes. Um, I've never written on a time constraint before, so this was different and I should try it more often because I feel like it would be a good songwriting exercise. I don't even remember the first part of this song. What the heck? This is what happens to me, guys. I write something and then I finish it and then I'm like, wait, I don't even know how the first line goes. Slept in cause the sun didn't wake me up today The light didn't shine through my window It left me sitting in the dark gray of my room Today it rained the whole drive to the store Kinda like the day that you walked right out my door Now my drive's ten miles instead of nine I can't bear to see a street sign Since we said goodbye I decide that you're still in my mind No matter how far I've gone, how hard I try I try, I try I'm stuck here in retrospect I don't know what I expected From a lie from a lie You said you'd give me everything And I believed you Now every time I think of you I just get bad nostalgia Okay, I think that's the best it's gonna be today. Thanks for watching this video, guys. It was just really relaxing to just drink some chai and just write some music. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to do more like write with me kind of videos. Um, and if you guys want to get these downloads, I'll leave the links down below. You can visit my Etsy shop or it's on the, also on my website. Um, these are just really great for beginners. And if you have nowhere to start, it's just really great to get your creative brain flowing with like a little structured worksheet here. But anyways, thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.